Hey guys, so we're at the deli right now. Janelle is currently shredding some carrots. Say hi. Hello. We just came from uh, having a nice breakfast with Levi and Nate. Romy got to see Uncle Levi before he went back to Worcester. But we're at the deli and we're making borscht. Want to tell them what borscht is? Yeah, borscht is uh, a soup. It's mostly made of vegetables and cut up steak. I googled it. Borscht is spelled B-O-R-S-C-H-T, I think, or B-O-R-C-H-T. There's a T at the end. Borscht. Oh, there's no Look at it. Oh, B O R S C H. But when I googled it, it said best borscht recipe. You see the T there? The T? It's weird. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. So B O R S C H would be right. So what's in it again? Carrots, beets, potatoes. cabbage, um, potatoes, and steak. Steak, a little bit of onions salt. and celery. Celery, onions, uh, garlic, um, a little bit, like literally a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of vinegar, tomato paste. Do you think bit. if we added celery, it would screw it up? I, mean, I don't think so. Celery isn't that flavorful. Yeah, it, the celery would just beef it up, but um, I think we're not going to add celery then. Okay, so I'm going to put the celery away. All right. I'm gonna put the camera down. Oh, I feel like with my necklace I would look better. Huh? I feel like with my necklace on my neck I would look better than just That's regular fine. black turtleneck. Be fine. Yeah, I had a necklace, but um, baby was falling asleep and holding it, so I had to take it off. We have one salad in there. We could we could make a chick house chicken salad for lunch if you want. But yeah, I do want. So I have a bunch of pre-cut carrots here. Well, not pre-cut, I, I cut them. And then the onions there. We, we, um, we keep all the pickle jars, and then we end up storing cut up vegetables for soups and stuff. We store sometimes chicken stock, we store whatever leftovers we might need. And it works. I'm gonna chop up all these carrots that I, I peeled. I peeled them because the skin is just way too bitter to put into any, to use. We're kind of following the recipe, and we have to fry these carrots with onions and beets and a little bit of tomato paste. Remember how we did them okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to put them all in this bowl so that we know that they all go together. And then I'm going to cut up this and potatoes. I'm going to cut up the steak for that. That would be helpful. Yeah, I can cut up the steak right now, so let me put these back in there. No, I think that's fine. They're gonna get smaller when remember they're everything's gonna get everything's gonna shrink. Yeah. Paul for every one of his soups that he does puts about this much carrots, this much onions, and this much celery. After these get like fried for a little bit, we need to put little tiny cut up beets in there so that this everything else turns the beets color. Mm -hmm. Oh steak needs to be cut up now so that we can start boiling it. Yeah. That broth, you know? I'll set it up. We didn't really know which one exactly to get. There was a bunch of different options, so we got a chuck pot roast. It's like a pretty thick cut. I don't even know what part of the animal this is. But okay. I kind of feel like I want to become vegetarian. Okay, we got two of these, so they're a little under two and a half pounds each. So we're using about five pounds of meat. The main ingredient of borscht is cabbage. There's supposed to be a lot of cabbage. It's basically cabbage based soup. All right, so Zyka, I'm just gonna start cutting this thing down the seams because that's that's the natural part of the meat. Okay. It's just got seams. Well, Paul taught me how he cuts meats, and that's how he does it. He just, anywhere there's a natural seam, he just cuts down it, cuts it away. What is natural seam? 
this is a natural seam. See that? Paul would tell me he would chop this stuff off and throw it out. See this? Yeah, because in the soup, no one wants to eat that in the soup, first of all, and it will also end up <clears throat> liquefying in the soup and coming to the top, right? Because it's just fat. Okay, so over here we have baby's baby <laughs> and then carrots and onions, cabbages and potatoes and look how clean and yummy that steak looks. If you're a vegetarian, turn it off. <laughs> Joe is taking out all the fat because we don't want our people to stumble upon fat in their soup. Because, for example, I hate fat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I can't get all of it. Sure. We're we getting the majority gotta, of it out. We, we bought a piece of meat that had a lot of fat on it. So, we're working with what we got. Right? Okay, yep. And then, this is going on a stove to fry a little bit and that's gonna go into the pot but only after we boil meat in it so that it gets a little juicy earlier i said we were using two and a half pound packages of meats but really most of the fat's coming off so it might end up only being two pounds total yeah we five. can even weigh it if you want to yeah there's a scale right behind you so For your information, FYI, <laughs> what I cut off so far is 18 ounces. What? So, what's a pound? Eight ounces? I think so, yeah. Yeah. So it's two pounds of stuff I cut off. So we were going to put water in this pot and put the meat in, but Chef Joe had a better idea. <laughs> Let me get the pan. I'm gonna I'm gonna brown them first. Okay. I'm gonna use that pan for sauteing too. Yeah. I also need to cut up beets, or you need to cut up beets. Okay. okay, so carrots, onions, and garlic are going in. <laughs> Dang, that looks like a lot of carrots. I think it's okay. To the um, frying pan. Could you come and stir it first? You know what he does? He throws it all in the pot, and while he's still cutting stuff up, he adds more stuff to it and lets it all just sit in the pot on, you know, with the temperature on. I made a big mess opening up the tomato juice. That's why that can opener is kind of stupid. I mean. Munch, 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 So we just blocked off munchkin because... Man, 
man down, man down. We just uh, blocked off Munchkin because she keeps coming back here by the grill and that's not safe. This is called a de pouillet, where you let the fire be on the back half and the water's boiling here. And then all the fat comes to one side. It's called the de pouillet and actually that originates from the, the French. I learned that from Paul and I think that's really cool. So look how the water is boiling. The fat has nicely come to this side and this is the water side. So now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna skim the top of the fat off and I'm gonna put it in this bowl over here, okay? Look at that gross stuff. Nobody wants that in their soup. Cabbages and potatoes are going in. Yeah, this is probably the worst way to do it. <laughs> it's gonna spill. Ow, ow. What do I do? What do um, I do? Maybe put it in the bowl. Well, we're not that experienced. <laughs> Check this out. This is the technique to use. I thought you would saute the cabbage first. No, you don't need to saute the cabbage. You only saute carrots, onions, garlic, and beets. Okay, now let's let it boil for like five minutes and then we'll dump all that in here. Okay. Can we clean up this little station too? Yeah, you do, Pajasta. In the meanwhile, I am going to put some of our house dressing, which people love. Some of them buy quarts like this of just the dressing into these little ones because every time somebody gets a salad we put a fork knife a couple napkins and they pick a dressing this is oil and vinegar this is balsamic dressing gold italian dressing and our house salad dressing so Okay, so everything is in the pot except the saute mix. I added some vinegar in the saute mix. I didn't want to add any vinegar, but he convinced me to. Because last time we cooked borscht at home, we didn't add anything. Yeah. And it was still borshi borscht, you know? Yeah, I know. So I'm just gonna do what I did with the potatoes and cabbage. Do you like the color? It smells yummy. I can smell vinegar. Because it's in there. I think you put too much. Oh, we ruined the borscht. Trust me, it's not good. There's now this is a hearty soup. This is what I like to see. Are you Americanizing borscht? <laughs> kind of, but here's what I came up with. Just a few spoonfuls of full-size sliced beets. <laughs> I went like this. <laughs> okay, try number two. Just ripping them down. It's not gonna stay on the top of it. No. Alright, this is probably the last one. Update on the borscht. Here's what it looks like. That's the de pouillet I was telling you guys about. I might skim a little bit more out, but not much. Let me show you guys how hardy this looks. Man, this is a beef borscht. Say hello. into my arms. <laughs> Are you a dodgy little girl? Are you a dodgy little girl? 
Okay guys, so the Borscht is done. Let me show you guys this. 